everyone welcome back to my channel so today i have another timu haul yes another one you guys i am on the timu bandwagon i love timu <laughs> most of the things that i have gotten i have just been really happy about um and i just love to share with you guys because i have found some items that i've actually shopped for on amazon and i've gotten them through timu at a fraction of a price so i feel like it's a really great place to shop and um, I just wanted to share with you guys just in case there are some items that maybe you guys have been keeping your eye on maybe on Amazon or Walmart and um, maybe you just can't afford to shop you know on websites and on Amazon this is a budget friendly website that's how I can purchase all these items there's no way I could be shopping just on Amazon for all this stuff all the time there's just no way so having items that I can actually purchase and gift out to other people I don't know I just like it you guys it feels good you guys so I'm gonna have all kinds of different um, types of things to share with you I have household things I have things for baking I have things for dogs I have things for crafting I'm probably going to leave the crafting stuff for last. So if you are into seeing all my junk journaling and crafting items, make sure you stay to the end because that's where I'm going to share all those things. And I'm just going to go through like the household type things at the beginning. So starting off, I saw these really cute. They're like crocheted, I think. They were $1.34. It says handmade, the original design. And they are these really cute like fruit clips. These are meant to go into your hair, but I got them to actually junk journal with. I think that they are so pretty. You can definitely wear them in your hair too. I think they're super cute. So we have the watermelon, the lemon or lime. I think it's a lime because the green trim around the outside. We have a strawberry, a carrot, and an avocado. I love the avocado. I love avocados. But I just, I thought this was precious, so I wanted to pick that up. I'm going to share this item with you now because it has an odor and it's strong. I feel like it's either going away or I'm used to it. I don't know. But this was $2.58. It's for your rings. It's a ring holder. So $2.58 is not bad for one of these. It can just sit in your drawer as an organizer. But you would just put your rings in just like that so I thought that this would be nice to keep my rings organized easy so that I can put them in and grab them whenever I need them and I don't have to like dig through you know the the little containers or anything like that so I went ahead and I did pick this up again it has a very strong chemical smell I'm not sure if it's like glue I'm not quite sure I mean it it feels okay. It's $2.58. So I'm going to put this in my garage for a few days and see if this smell goes away because it is, it's pretty strong. All right. So the next item, I have been wanting to get my daughter one of these for a while now. I actually wanted to get her one of the hydro flasks, but I think that they are like 40 or $50. And I just, I don't have the money to spend $50 on a water bottle. So when I saw this, I was really excited because it's super cute. It is plastic, um, but it has a handle. It has like the measurements here. And then on the other side, it says 7 a.m. Rise and shine. 9 a.m. Let's get started. 10 or I'm sorry, 11 a.m. Remember your goal. 1 p.m. Keep it up. 3 p.m. Halfway there. 5 p.m. You can do this. 7 p.m. Don't quit now. 9 p.m all in the day's work. So, I mean, this is kind of cool to keep as a gauge just going through your day. Also, so you can try to drink this whole bottle of water. Now, this has, again, a handle. It pops there, this little button pops the little lid up. You have your, um, you know, your nozzle there. Nozzle, what is this called? I don't know, spout. <laughs> oh man, and so you just twist it off. You have the inside here. Also, it came with this straw. So you can put this straw in here and drink out of the, the straw part. I do like the idea of drinking out of the straw better than like drinking it that way. I feel like it'd be easier, but I also feel like straws are harder to clean. Um, but it did come with this really large straw. 
and it does not have a chemical smell at all like at all it doesn't smell like anything um does it have a number on the bottom for us what is that number? It says seven. Why do I feel like seven is not a great number for drinking or eating? I'm gonna look that up and I'm gonna let you guys know if this is safe to drink out of. Cause it says seven and it says PC on it. Okay. Let me know down in the comments if you guys know about that because I know that there's numbers on the bottom of plastic items to let you know if they're safe to like eat or drink out of, but I don't remember if seven is one of them. So let me know down in the comments if you guys know. Um, but it does come with these really cute stickers that you can stick on there. And it also comes with these really cute little like charms comes with four charms and little like dot stickers. I don't know how long these would stay on there, but it comes with this that says good. It says good. Comes with this really cute bunny. A strawberry and a bow and you would just stick these on your bottle super cute for a teenager or preteen okay so the next couple items are for you dog lovers so i do have a puppy he's almost a year he's a little whippet and i need to start brushing his teeth was i supposed to already do that i don't know but i got him some toothbrushes this is from Green Meadow. It says dental care kit, and it comes with all of these toothbrushes. This was only $3.98. I think it is a great deal. Okay, so this comes with the two smaller toothbrushes, and this says that it's for your dog's gum line. And then the larger end of the toothbrush is for, um, let's see, the front teeth, and then the smaller heads down here can be more for the back teeth here and so i thought this was really good to have there's quite a bit here so you can change them out just like you would your own toothbrushes so for three dollars and 98 cents i got this pack of dog toothbrushes also if you have multiple dogs you have four dogs there you go you have four toothbrushes so the next thing for dogs, I picked one up for myself and I picked one up for my mom. These are um, like seat belt type things for your dogs, for the car. We are going on a car, like a, a trip, a road trip. And so I wanted to get something so that I can strap my puppy in there so that he's safe, at least as safe as I can get him. Um, but this adjusts here. I need to really see how this works. I will let you guys know what I think, you know, once we go on our trip and I've tried it out. There are these pieces to adjust it here and also around this part here, there is a little hook here. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming that this goes around the top part of your, like the headrest and then this comes down and the hook connects to your dog's harness or collar. Um, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this works that way. And so you can keep it tight so all they can do is like sit and lay down so you can make sure that they're not like trying to walk around or you can loosen this part up to make the strap longer. So I got the black for my puppy because he's a boy. And then I got the pink one for my mom's puppy. Well, she's not a puppy, she's a dog. Um, but she's a little girl, so I picked up the pink one as well. So I could give this to her when I go visit her. Um, so that is the, the items that I got for the dogs. Okay, now a couple things that I got for the kitchen. This I picked up for my daughter. I don't know where the sticker is that tells me how much because I write like little notes so that I can tell you guys like on these little things and I stick it on it, but it fell off. So I will have this price just down below in with the link. 
And if I can remember, I'll put it here, but don't hold me to it. I might forget when I'm editing. Um, but this is pretty cool. So what you do is this can be for batter, for like pancakes, for cupcakes, muffins, whatever. My daughter loves to bake, so I don't know if you're a baker or you have someone in your family that's a baker or a friend, um, but you would pour the batter into here and then you use this little um, handle here, this like trigger thing. And what this is, is it takes this plug out of the hole. So when you push it down, it will stop the batter from going through. And when you pull up on it, you can have the patter, patter. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can have the batter um, fill up the pan. So I thought that that was kind of cool. Now the trigger is a little hard to like pull up on and push down. I'm thinking maybe if there's stuff in there that might help a little bit. It just feels a little rough as you're pulling it. But it might be easier like for my daughter, I'll probably have her hold it with two hands and use this to kind of pull up and push down on. I don't know, I feel like that might be a little bit easier. I'm not sure, but I just thought this was a fun little cool gadget to have in the kitchen. So I picked that up for her. Okay, so the next thing I got is, this is so cool, all right? How many of you guys go grocery shopping or have it delivered and you, or you go pick it up and you don't wanna take like a million trips to the car and back into the car and back, especially for those of you who maybe have a long driveway or who live in an apartment complex, someone who has like a long walk to take back to the kitchen from the car. You need one of these. So this was $1.88 and it is a handle, like a carrier for your bags. So what you do is you, I don't know what you do, you guys. <laughs> okay, so what you do is you use this little button here. Just kind of pull this off to the side. You load up your bags. You could probably carry like five on this. And then you just lift that lever back so that this goes into the blue piece here and you carry this like this with all your bags on it. I love this. That That's a million dollar idea right there, you guys. So that again was $1.88. All right, so another thing I got for the house, in my bathroom, my screen is starting to have like a little tear in it and I don't wanna replace the whole screen. This was 39 cents and it's just like a screen replacement piece. So let me take them out. I think I got four of them in this pack. No, I got six. So it's just a little square here, and what you would do is you would just peel off this white piece here, and it's sticky. It does have a smell to it. I believe it's sticky, let me see. I don't wanna tell you guys wrong. Yeah, so you would just peel this white backing off like a sticker, and then you would stick this where it needed to go wherever your screen is torn, at least until you can get to it, until you can replace it. Um, but this came with six pieces, so I picked that up. The last thing that doesn't have to do with crafting that I'm gonna share with you guys, this was $2.38. And I picked this up because summertime is literally right around the corner, you guys. And this is a bra strap, so you can attach it to your bra and make it so it's like, um, say you have a scoop neck in the back, so your back goes way low and you don't want your bra to show. This is what you would attach to it so that um, you don't see it. I have no idea how to do this. I'm gonna have to look at the picture and remember, because I can't remember how it goes. But I thought that this would be something pretty cool to have during summertime because sometimes you get really pretty summer dresses and you don't want your bra strap to show. So I just went ahead and got the nude color just because it matched my skin tone. So I thought, you can't go wrong with that. So I went ahead and picked that up. Not bad for the price. Okay, now jumping in to junk journaling stuff. Oh wait, sorry. This last item here, was 98 cents and it's just this little container with compartments in it. You could literally use this for jewelry, earrings, probably even like chain bracelets, stuff like that if they're small, beads, 
but this I actually purchased for my daughter's diamond paintings because she is really into that now and this was only 98 cents it'll work perfect for her it has 24 little compartments sometimes the diamond art or paintings have I think like 30 or 32 it just depends on how many colors they have so you may need a few of these if it has more um, little diamonds but I went ahead and picked this up I cannot beat that price okay so jumping into my junk journaling stuff I've been trying to kind of stock up get more um, junk journaling items just so that it's easier for me to actually junk journal because I have more options um, And now that it's not just me junk journaling my nieces are junk journaling with me And I want to make sure to have stuff for them as well um, But the first two things I'm going to share with you. I actually purchased these for my son I'm going to be making junk journals for them and they're not really for them to journal in I'm doing it more for like memories for their childhood memories if later on they want to write in it, they definitely can. But this is more just to have like a book full of things that they've just loved up until now. So I saw that they were selling these Sonic stickers and it was $1.98. My son loves Sonic the Hedgehog. We've watched the movies with him. He's just really loved it. So I'm going to show a picture here for you guys with them spread out on the desk so you can see all of the different characters and the different little designs they have. But look at this stack of stickers. If, you've had, if you guys have been here, you know that I love stickers from Timu. I also went ahead and picked up the Boss Baby stickers. You guys, my son, my son loved Boss Baby. And it's funny because he's super demanding. He's a very demanding little kid. And um, so my husband and I always joke that he watched too much Boss Baby when he was little because now he really thinks he's in charge. He thinks he's in charge. But those were also $1.98. So I went ahead and picked those up to kind of start saving up. I've been saving like um, boxes from his food, stuff like that. I'm going to look on the internet, just anything that he's loved up until now, up until I do it. I'm doing the same thing for my daughter. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully they cherish it. Okay, so the next thing I went ahead and picked up, these were $1.08. And these are um, like stamping blocks so it comes with three different sizes they are pretty small but for 98 cents you guys that really is a great deal and these work perfect with um, you know your rubber stamps when you're paper crafting it's hard to see because I have a white paper here but maybe I'll take a picture of it here for you guys to see but this one did come with three different sizes like I said so you can use it on all your different size stamps. All right, so this I actually am super excited to use. This was $2.98. Now this is called transparent envelopes, but it's kind of like a vellum. It came with 10 of them and they, they are envelopes. I'm hoping that I can try to like stencil on top of them or ink something using a stencil or maybe my stamps. But look how nice these are. They're a decent size, perfect for junk journaling. So I'm really, really excited about these. I'm really excited to try to use them and to see what I can do with them. The next thing I picked up for junk journaling are these really cute doilies. These were $1.18. Look how cute this little bow is that's like wrapped around it. You can definitely use that type of stuff in your guys' junk journal. So here are the little doilies. Now we have this one that's actually cut out, which is really pretty. I did go ahead and get this blue, the blue choice. It's all different doilies with like different blues. They do have different color choices, so I probably will go back and buy more of these. This is so pretty though. Um, and again, I'm definitely going to use this little bow. All right, so the next two things I got were $1.08 each. 
and they're just these little boxes of transparent flowers so oh i got did i get two of the same i might have ordered two of the same by accident i do that sometimes um yeah i accidentally get two of the same color instead of changing it maybe these are different so there's quite a bit of them it's hard to see they're on transparent paper they are stickers so what i'm going to do is i'll take a picture and you guys you guys will be able to see them all right another thing that i thought was really cool these are a dollar 48 and they are book corners they come in this cute little plastic container here so you can definitely store these in this container which is really nice also, these are really nice to store in these little boxes with the clear cover because then you can see what they are. That's one thing that I really do like about Timu is their packaging's pretty good. Um, so yeah, but these are just some little book corners here to use on your books when you're journaling. I do feel like these are a little flimsy. They feel a little thin. But to be honest, I've never tried any other book corners like this, so I couldn't like compare them to something else. So let me know if the book corners that you guys have used, if you just like glue them on, because this doesn't have anything to like slip on the corner. It looks like you just like glue on the top of the corner, maybe to make it look like it's a book corner cover. I don't know. Um, but there are quite a bit in here. They did have different finishes. I just thought that this looked really pretty because it kind of gives you like a vintage vibe. And I really like the vintage vibes when I am making my journal. Okay, so the next few things I'm going to, you know what, I'll share these last because there's a few of them. So let me share this thing with you first. So this was $1.19. And <laughs> it's itty bitty. I did not realize that it was this small. I thought it was bigger. If you guys have been here, you guys know me. I don't really check measurements all the time. Sometimes I'm getting better at it. I did check it on my little stamp blocks like these, so I knew that they were small. So I did check on there, but I don't think I checked this because I just assumed that it was going to be bigger. I don't know why. Maybe because it says that it's an envelope maker. So I just assumed it was like a big envelope maker, but it's not. But they're little die cuts. So you can actually make your own little envelopes out of these. These just break apart here. So you have two different size envelopes to make. These will be super cute though to make mini envelopes. Those are always really cute in um, junk journals. So, I mean, I'm happy I got it. Would I have gotten it if I knew the size? Maybe not, but that might change when I actually use it. You know what I mean? I may just love it. Okay, so the next four items are these clear rubber stamps. I am really trying to collect rubber stamps. I've been on a mission to find all different kinds because I really loved the way that the love stamp worked from Dollar Tree. And so I love the way it looks in the book that my advent journal. So I'm like, I'm going to get more of those. And I want to try using these on the vellum envelopes that I purchased. I think that will look so pretty if you're covering like junk mail envelopes with stuff and you want to put stamps on it. Oh, it'll look so pretty. So I've been trying to collect um, the different stamps. So again, I am um, wanting to do, you know, journals or little memory books for the kids. And um, my son loves piano. Two of my nieces love piano. So I thought that this one would be really cool with the music notes. I know there's not a piano on there, but it shows music. So in music notes. So I thought that that one would be really cool. I also went ahead and picked up this one. This one was a dollar twenty-eight. Not bad. Um, the ones at Dollar Tree are a dollar twenty-five. So I think that that is a good price too. I'm pretty sure that these are more expensive at like Michaels, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure though. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure they're they're more than a dollar and a quarter 
for a dollar and thirty cents. So this one I thought was really cute because it's like different types of papers or photos, like photo papers, I think. Look how cute those are. So I wanted to pick these up. You could always note inside of them. You could put, you know, a transparent flower inside of it or a butterfly, a bird, anything like that. So I'm a girl that loves paper. I love junk journaling. I love homeschool, like books and I create workbooks for homeschool. I do planners and things like that. So seeing stuff like this, I really love it <laughs> guys. I love paper. So this is another one that I picked up. This is just like notepads, junk journal with it, or you can just use it to um, decorate different pages. So I thought that that one was really fun. And then the last one I have was a $1.48. I'm really excited about this one because I love coffee. I mean, I really love, I love coffee. And so when I saw this, I knew I had to get it for myself. If I ever do a junk journal, that's just like random stuff and not, you know, my prayer journal and stuff. Um, this coffee stamp would be perfect. Who else loves coffee? Are you guys tea drinkers or coffee drinkers or none of the above? How many of you guys have tried that mushroom coffee? I've been seeing it all over Instagram, all over YouTube, and I'm kind of, I'm intrigued by it. I wanna know more about it. I would love to try that coffee. So let me know down in the comments if you guys have tried that, how it tastes, has it helped your stomach? Like, I mean, if I could find something like coffee, but with all those great benefits, I would definitely try to change and start drinking it. So let me know, super random, weird to be in this video, but you guys are my people. So let me know down in the comments if you guys have tried that. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Thanks for hanging out. This was a really long video. I hope you guys stayed to the end. Give me a coffee emoji if you guys stayed until the end. I think there is a coffee emoji. I think it's a hot coffee. Do something similar. I'll know what you mean or just type in coffee. But um, with that being said, you guys, thanks again for hanging out. I always appreciate the time that you take out of each day while you watch my videos. Don't forget to give me a like, leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. Subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you a part of our family here on YouTube. And that's it. So be safe, be blessed, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.